Hey guys, I'm Shaham Bope from Scar Studio. So in this video, we are going to model the eyebrows and the eyelashes of the character. And also in the next video, I'll be modeling his mouth and his teeth. And I promise I will upload more frequently. We're stuck with a bunch of work and I've been working on my short film. So it's been tough guys. And stay tuned for the short film as well. So if you're new here, make sure you watch part one two three and four videos to catch up you can download the reference images i used to model this character in the link below and if you like to buy the fully rigged model you can get it from scarlaglobal.com link in the description for that as well and uh, make sure you smash that uh, notification button to get notified when i upload the next video and i just made a discord server so you guys can join that link in the description for that as well so all right with that said let's get on with the video so we're going to start by appending the eyes we created in the previous video. So I'm going to go to file, then append and collections, select the collection over here and the scale down these to disable the mirror modifier for now, place it inside the head and scale it down, place it like that, object set origin to 3d cursor and Tab into edit mode, scale it down like that. All right, looks good. Now you can see you can't you can't really see the iris, so I'm gonna select the cornea, and I'm gonna adjust the location. All right, so now I can see the iris again. All right, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Enable the mirror modifier. I'm gonna delete this eye because I already uh, have the eye set up. All right, now I'm gonna tap back into edit mode and add a loop cut between these two edges and start pushing and pulling vertices until I get the eyelids. I'm gonna pull these two out, these two out as well and these two in and Pushing and pulling, vertices, like that, just take your time. This is actually a slow process, so make sure you take your time and just do it patiently if you want good results. Now I'm going to select this inner edge inside the eye and extrude it out like this, and extrude again, and scale it up, extrude again scale and smoothen it a bit these vertices rotate them from the top and select these two vertices put them to a side select these two put to a side select these two and put them to a side and try to get something like a circular shape all right, so if the back faces are getting in your way, you can always select those vertices and hide them with H and you can get them back with Alt H as well. And you can also switch on and off the mirror modifier to get a better look inside as well. So now I'm gonna start pushing and pulling vertices again, to get the proper shape of my head, my forehead just rotate a bit raise it up and try to match the reference image as much as I can all right now with two I'm gonna come back to edge select mode a uh, face select mode with three and select these uh, faces with shift D I'm gonna duplicate those faces and P to separate the selection now I'm going to the materials tab and I'm gonna delete the material and add a new material and make it black. All right. So, so I actually created a temporary material for the face because I didn't want it to be pure white. So now I'm gonna duplicate the reference image and uh, keep it in the side so that I can uh, see what the face looks like and I'm trying to follow the reference image to get the shape of the eyebrows as well. 
And now I'm going to go back to X-ray select mode, select the bottom edges and delete them. Select the top ones and place it according to our reference. And I'm going to extrude it out and raise it up like that. Select those two corners and scale them. And push it down. Add a loop cut in the corner. There. Okay, that's good. And another loop cut in this corner and place it down like that. Try and follow the reference image as much as I can. Rotate a bit and right click, shade smooth. You guys can see there's a small artifact artifact over here. We can fix that later. So now I'm going to select these edges and extrude them out like that inside. And I'm going to add a loop cut in the middle of the eyebrows like that. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to select all these faces along with that and with Control F, go to the normals menu and select flipped normal. All right, that looks good. I'm going to select these top uh faces and raise them up a tad bit and move them in some something like that looks good for me now i'm gonna go select the head go to the materials tab add a new material leave it like that and select all these edges assign the new material and change the color to a bit darker color maybe you can remove these faces so we're just going to leave it like that for now. We'll be texturing the whole model later. So now I'm going to come back, select these edges and extrude them out to add our eyelashes. And I'm going to rotate them a bit like that. And now I'm going to add a loop cut in the middle with Control R and bring it in. Scale it down a bit, push that edge down and push, pull it up like that and just place it according to the shape of our eye like that. Now I'm going to select those two edges and con control plus to select the other faces as well and apply uh, a new material and make it black and assign that material to those faces and it's starting to look good so that's it for this video hope you all enjoyed it in the next video we'll be making his head and you can post your progress in the discord server so come back for the next video i promise i'll upload more frequently i also have a video on my character modeling process here you can check it out and you can click here to watch the next video so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and the bell button and the button button all the buttons before you go and uh, see you in the next one Bo out. Peace.